Well, welcome back with Future Volcano of the Day. I'm going with Fagradel Sifajal in Iceland. If I the name of the volcano, please correct me in the comment section below. Um, otherwise, from this point on, I'm just going to call it Fagradel. Um, anyways, it's a Tuya. I don't know what a Tuya is. Um, I'm going to Google it. Tuya versus Tuyo. Um, it's a flat top steep. Okay. A Tuya is a type of def a distinctive. Um, this is from Wikipedia. I'm just reading off my laptop. Um, a Tuya is a type of distinctive flat topped steep sided volcano formed when the lava erupts through a thick glacier or ice sheet. They are rare they are rare worldwide, being confined to regions which were covered by glaciers and had acti active volcanism at the same period during the same period. Um, as lava that erupts under the a glacier cools very quickly and cannot travel far, it piles up to a steep sided hill. If the eruption continues long enough, it either melts all the ice or emerges to the top of the ice, and it creates normal-looking lava flows that make flat a flat cap on top of the hill. Discovering and dating the lava flows in Atuya has proven useful in reconstructing past glacial ice extents and thickness. So this is an example of Atuya. Um, I guess they're most common in like the polar regions um uh but yeah there's three in antarctica yeah um uh ugh. iceland appears to have the most of them um but anyways yeah 1263 Foot elevation is under eruption warning slash minor activity based on all these earthquakes. Um, but yeah, unspecified style eruptions, none during the past 10,000 years, much less uh, the past, yeah, mu none during the past 10,000 years, much less few million years. So, this would be the first time in modern history that this thing erupted. This will be the first time in modern history that this thing has erupted. That's a first. Okay. A seismic crisis has been occurring in the area near... Uh, Fagradel. Yeah, I'm just gonna call it... Uh, Fagradel. Since late February 2021. Interpreted as an intrusion of magma at shallow depth, this might lead to a new fissure eruption. <sighs> um... So let's go there. We'll get to that stuff right after. But this thing may erupt for the first time since who knows how long. Um, there's all these earthquakes from today. And today started 12 minutes ago. Um, in my time zone. Um, but yeah, there's that there. Let's go to background. Uh, f uh. Fagradel is a Pleistocene table mountain in the Reich Jains Peninsula, northeast of Grandovic. That's all they have on this for background. There's satellite imagery. And then... This. Um... Close. Um... So, Fagradel, volcano update... Volcanic eruption likely as earthquake swarms continue in southwest east southwestern Iceland. For more than a week now, Iceland's Reich James Peninsula has been continuously rocked by an intense earthquake swarm. A total of more than twenty thousand tremors have been recorded since the activity started on Reich James Peninsula on February twenty fourth. Um, when a magnitude five point seven occurred following almost immediately by a magnitude 5 event. In total, the Icelandic 
the IMO recorded five quakes of magnitude 5 or above, 51 above a 4, and 5, uh, between a 4 and 5, 397 between a 3 and 4. Many of these quakes were felt in nearby villages and towns, um, and the fact that they're looking at a possible eruption, um, if you're near that volcano, I do urge you to evacuate. I'm sure they're urging you guys to evacuate as well. Um... But luckily, the immediate areas around the earthquake swarm are not densely inhabited, and there has been no reports of significant damage. Um, could the earthquake activity herald a new volcanic eruption? Since early on, it has been specula speculated whether the current seismic swarm was related to a magmatic event underground and eventually precede a new volcanic eruption. The area is located on the active rift zone of southwest Iceland, near the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates, <sighs> separating from each other, something that manifests itself in frequent earthquakes, underground magma intrusions, and occasional fissure, uh, fissure eruptions <coughs> on the surface along north, uh, southwest and northeast trending fissures. This was given new evidence on March Third, when IMO reported a sudden increase of seismic tremor in the same area, almost likely a sign that magma was moving underground. IMO stated that the observed burst of tremor were sourced from a region two kilometers southwest of Killier on the Reich Chains Peninsula, or a few kilometers northeast of Fagradell, an old extinct subglacial volcano known as a Tuya. Keep in mind, this was labeled as extinct. So that means this thing is coming back from the dead. We got zombie volcanoes based on that. So this region may be considered as part of the uh, Krasuvik volcanic system to this in southwest Iceland. Although it is still difficult to assign the potentially new vent area to the same of a Pacific volcanic system right now. <sighs> Eruptions occur on average 800, every 800 years, according to the professor of volcanology, Thor Valdor, Thor Dorsen, from the University of Iceland. Uh, volcanoes in southern Iceland experience pulses of activity every 100 years or so. He noted that the last eruption from this area occurred in the 11th or 13th century. So Iceland is right on the time for an eruption. However, citizens from the Reich Chains Peninsula need not to worry as southwest Icelandic vo volcanic eruptions are very rarely explosive. Icelandic eruption is a specific type of Evasive, not explosive eruption, where molten basaltic lava has erupted from parallel fissures in the ground, forming lava fountains and then vast lava flows. Kind of like what happened in Hawaii in 2018. This type of volcanic eruption is usually observed along spreading centers or mid-oceanic ridges under the ocean. It was named after Iceland as this type of eruption was prominently observed um, during on occurring on land in the country. Iceland sits on top of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, uh, which is the spreading center where the North American and Eurasian tectonics or plates are rifting apart. In an article by volcanologist Dave McGarvey from the Lancaster University, he noted if there are to be any eruption in the area, it would likely not be as explosive as the 20. 11 uh, Ejef Jokol eruption or the 2011 Grimm's Voten eruption. This is due to the fact that the area is not covered by ice, which would otherwise interact explosively with their magma. And as known, shown, fissure eruptions producing lava flows during the record historic his past. However, IMO has raised aviation warnings over the area. Um, listing of the possible scenarios. 
is still far from certain whether eruption will occur or not in the near future. I'm a list of most likely scenarios. Uh, the ongoing seismic activity reduces in the coming days and weeks. Um, the seismic swarm will increase intensity, possibly with a mag magnitude an earthquake up to magnitude six in size nearby. F uh, Fagradel, an eruption up to magnitude six point five in size could be triggered in the uh, Brennestein Sifjol mountain range over 20 kilometers east of Fregredel. Magma intrusions continue in the vicinity of Fregredel. The massive, the intrusive magma movements stop and eventually solidify, and a phase of volcanic eruption could occur, resulting in lava flows that could, that should not threaten inhabited areas of the peninsula. The evolution of the seismic, seismicity continues to be monitored day and night, and in the event of the eruption, various contingency plans are in place. So, with that, that does seem to be it. Stay safe. Links will be in the description box below. See you in the next video. Actually, no, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. <sighs> um, this is from today. Well, yesterday, technically. Link to this will also be in the description box below. But anyways, the earthquake swarm in Wreck James Peninsula concentrated in the area of Mount Fagradel, southwest of Killier, continues with no signs of weakening by early afternoon that IMO have already recorded over 1,700 quakes since midnight alone, uh, including many of magnitude 3 or higher and a widely felt magnitude 5 event at 7.53 uh, AM GMT this morning. Um, this seismic, this seismic activity has been identified as a result of continuing influx of magma into a newly forming, uh, dike sheet shaped magma reservoir at shallow depth of only about 101 kilometer beneath the surface in places. The longer it continues, the higher the likelihood of it breaching the surface, or in other words, causing a volcanic eruption. Seismic scientists concluded that the dike intrusion is expanding with the most active magma flow centered at the southern part of it. Volcanic eruption remains a possibility as magma is still flowing into the corridor. With an ongoing activity, the probability of eruption increases day by day. It is considered very unlikely that lava from a possible eruption would reach populated areas. Okay, so they're not urging for evacuation, but um, for those who want to feel safe, do pack up in case that were in case they were to change their minds and decide that this would be a threat. Um, the IMO further states it is important to follow the activity of the re southern region of Mount uh, Fagradel in order to evaluate whether the dike is expanding to the south. <sighs> satellite latest satellite images. And GPS data show that accumulation of magma is concentrated at the southern end of the dike beneath Mount Fagradel. This is currently the most likely site for a possible eruption. If the dike keeps expanding and increasing stresses in the area, continuing earthquake activity that can be felt in populated areas, populated areas is expected. Currently, the magma is shallow, lying 1 to 1.5 kilometers beneath the crest, therefore it can be expected that eruption could start without a strong precursory signal. As the magma can easily break through the last hundreds of meters of crust once a critical pressure is reached. From experience of lava flow eruptions, as we might expect, the eruption tremor is weak and has a low amplitude. For this reason, the IMO has installed webcams which can be used to monitor the area in case of an eruption will start without clear Progressionary signals. <sighs> Keep in mind, a 6.9 magnitude earthquake triggered the uh, Fisher eruptions in Hawaii in 2018, and it took a 5.7 magnitude earthquake to trigger the 1980 eruption at Mount St. Helens. So, with that, that is it. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.